Having calculated the gradient of the graph, usually the examiner will test to see how well you understand the ideas of uncertainties. Now you'll have already been introduced to the idea that you can calculate uncertainties either from looking at the size of the range of the data or possibly just by looking at the precision of the data that you've recorded. And in exams, they will usually ask you to calculate the uncertainty or the percentage uncertainty for one row of data. They usually won't expect you to complete a, a row in your table, a column in your table with all the uncertainties. So what we're going to do is just quickly have a look at the uncertainty in the current that we've recorded here. Now you can see here that we've got a reasonably large range, a range of 0.42 milliamps. In order to calculate the uncertainty, we would do 0.42 divided by 1.94, then multiplied by 100 to give us as a percentage. And so our percentage error here would come out at something like 21 0.6%. That would be the uncertainty in that reading there. You might also be asked to calculate the uncertainty in this value of the potential difference. Well, we haven't got a range here, so if we have no range, we would always take the uncertainty as being the precision of this value here. That's the lowest, smallest, non-zero reading that this meter could display. I hope you can see that the precision of this instrument is 0 0.1 of a volt. That's got a value of 10, so 0 0.1 divided by 10 multiplied by 100 gives us a 1% uncertainty. Now we're not actually going to report these directly because the question is actually asking us about the percentage uncertainty in this value of the resistance. We've calculated the resistance by doing the potential difference divided by the current. Again, in lessons you will have seen that if you're dividing two values to get a resulting value, you would add together their individual percentage uncertainties. So this would lead to a percentage uncertainty in this value of the resistance of 22.6%. Before you write that down as your final answer, there's one thing that you should remember. Whenever you're reporting uncertainties or percentage uncertainties in the final answer of your question, you should never report it to more than two significant figures. So you wouldn't write down the answer as 22.6%, you'd write it down as 23%. And if you wanted to, you could add the plus or minus sign before that sign there. That is the percentage uncertainty in the value for that resistance calculation there.